Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Thursday, 8th of August 2024. And today's topic is apply the word and put the situation right. Before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, King of Glory, we bless you, we honor you. We appreciate you for who you are. Blessed be to your divine name. There is none like you in heaven and on earth. There is none to compare to you. Thank you for a good night rest. Thank you for supplying us with our daily surprise supply, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for your word we are about to receive this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Reality. And to the topic is apply the word and put the situation right. James 1.22 says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. Did you know that today, in the New Testament, it is no longer a question of what God can do, but what you can do. He made the charge in Christ and gave us the dominion, the authority and the power to change anything. So it is up to you today to make your life as glorious as you want it to be. The key is acting on the word, applying the word of God. Many have remained in distressing condition because they are waiting for God to come into their situation and change things. Even if you shout or sing from sun up to sun down, that God will make a way where there is no way. This won't change your situation. That is because it's already made a way almost 2,000 years ago and made you the way when you were born again. You are not just the saved. You need to get the repeater. He calls us saviors of Daya 121. He saved you and made you a savior. Many of God's children need to become more acquainted with this truth. They are inspired and excited to know what God can do. But they need to be more acquainted with what God says they can do. The ball is in your court. You are the one to do something about your situation. How? By learning the word of God and applying it to the situation you're facing. When you study the life of the master, his words, his prayer, and the instruction he gave, he never suggested for one moment that we should whine, beg, and cry to God for anything. Rather, he put the key in our hands. He told us to speak to the mountain. In other words, solve the problem. Use your mouth. Speak faith feed words. Mark 11.23 says, For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever shall say unto this mountain, be that removed, and be that cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apply the word and put the situation right. Praise the Lord. What pastor is helping us to communicate is that God has given us everything in Christ Jesus. All you have to do is apply it. Apply it in your life. Apply it in every situation. Speak to your life. Praise the Lord. Use the word to your advantage. Hallelujah. That is why it is important for you to study the word for yourself. Praise the Lord, so that you can know your inheritance in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You don't need to beg God in prayers for what he has already given to you. So with that being said, let's say the confessions together. Dear Father, thank you for the authority and power you have given me to change any situation through your word. I am a doer of your word, and with my faithful words, I utter circumstances and cause them to align with your perfect will for my life. I apply your word effectively in every circumstance, and I walk in victory always in Jesus' name. Amen. For that study, you can look at James 1, 22-25, Mark 9, 23, and Joshua 1, verse 8. When your Bible reads the plan, you can look at Romans 11, verse 1-24, to Psalm 79-81. To your Bible reading plan, Philippians 1, verse 1-8, to and Isaiah 59. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures. And you've been indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. 
I trust I've been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is read your Bible, get to know God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Go by yourself for faithful messages such like this, and look for a believing church and worship for growth. What a great time we had this morning. Please, if today is your first time coming across my channel, subscribe to my channel on your notification bell. So anytime I put the video such like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please, you can share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus' name. Before we go, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you for who you are. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your word that we received this morning. Thank you for your blessings upon our lives today. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great day. See you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.